you know, a, a lot of people may have heard about like um, you know, Jackie Chan making movies and being in the hospital all the time and all these injuries and all the sacrifices that make. Um, I'm, I'm, I live it actually. So, I mean, I can be proof of that. I mean, I'm not as gung ho. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare say I'm as as uh, as crazy as those uh, those guys. But um, and then film technology is a little bit different now. But I, I think I've been to the hospital after each one of my movies. I think at least once or twice. I mean, uh, usually it's, it's uh, thank God it's nothing too serious. But um, but there's always going to be certain injuries. It's like when you're playing a physical sport. You know, playing football or or any kind of sport, anything physical, making movies, making action movies is very similar. So um, a lot of trips to the hospital sometimes are required. Yeah. So I, I've been uh, in Asia for quite a bit. I, I grew up here in America, you know, having this dream, wanting to go back and, and um, make kung fu movies. Because, you know, my father and my mother used to go to Chinatown, rent VHS, you know, tapes, you know. I don't know if the audience knows what that is. It's a, it's a cartridge with a movie in it. But, anyways. but um, they used to rent those things. I remember watching Drunken Master, the first one, over and over and over again until, until the tape was worn out. I remember when I was making once upon a time in, in Shanghai, uh, Yun Chaoyan, one of the uh, Yun Wuping's brother, uh, Yun Wuping's brother, he was uh, is a is a really good man. Yeah, we're, we're filming, and he was reciting lines from that movie, and I, I think I I finished every line he was reciting because I, I remember that movie so much. So being able to work with these guys and and making these movies is surreal. But um, but like every journey has a beginning. When I moved back uh, for the first year. Uh, not a lot was going on. I think it's like enter en entering any kind of entertainment business in, in any country. Um, I was the foreigner, uh, even though I was Chinese. I grew up in the states, um, so things were a little bit difficult for me. But um, after after uh, meeting certain people, uh, you know, kindness of, of of certain people in the industry, um, I eventually uh, made it in to do my first real gig. I, I did a few gigs before that, but I, I considered this my very um, an important important gig in my career. It was the uh, first time I was the assistant action and martial action choreographer, uh, martial arts choreographer for a movie called Star Runner. It's there where I first joined the uh, Team Galok stunt team. Uh, it was my um, real initiation into a, a stunt team, an actual movie stunt team. And uh, in, the, in that movie was my two best friends, um, Andy On and uh, Vanessa Wu. Uh, these two gentlemen, uh, they were the stars of this movie. I was a stuntman and an action and an assistant choreographer. It's a funny story. Not only did I get to meet these two gentlemen who later on in my career I would work a lot, a lot with, um, there's, there was a very memorable near-death experience that I, I went through on my first film. So there was a shot where Andy, Andy on would throw um, Vanessa Wu on, onto a mat. They were like, a, it, was a, it was a boxing movie. It was, um, it was like a, a kumite kind of like, like bar shorts competition type movie. So there's a scene where Andy has to throw Vanessa over his uh, shoulder and Vanessa would have to uh, do one and a half spins and land on his face. So. I was the lightest guy in the stunt team at the time, so I, I would double for him. And uh, to do the shot, what they did was um, Andy would pick me up, but they would wrap a wire, uh, a metal wire around me, wire work, you know. You hear a lot of Hong Kong movies talking about this. So it wraps around me between my legs and around my shoulder once. So as, as Andy throws, my, throws me, the stuntman pull the wire and I would spin one and a half times and should be landing on my face uh, flat down. So boom, boom, bam. Simple, you know, not nothing, you know, crazy or difficult. But usually when on a stunt that's not crazy or difficult, you know, a lot of certain accidents might happen. But, you know, it was due to my inexperience and also, um, you know, but, but the experience of the stuntman saved me. So what happened was my seniors told me, well, make sure you turn your head before you land on the ground. You don't want to land on your face flat out, you know? And I'm like, oh, that's a good advice. And, and um, you know, I, I took it. But anyone who does, you know, uh, gymnastics or knows how to flip around in the air, wherever your head goes is where your body goes. You know, when you jump in the air, you flip, wherever your head goes, your body goes. So I turned my head a little bit too early. So long story short, I, I was tumbling in the air. My body was tumbling in the air and the wire caught around my neck. A more inexperienced wire crew would see that and they might hold onto the wire and make sure the guy doesn't fall. But, but but they're pretty experienced, and I'm I'm still friends with these these guys, and and um, they let go. So, bam, I slam on the ground. And I'm out. And uh, I remember opening my eyes, and I see everyone standing over me. No one's touching me. I, I felt something on my neck, and it was the wire. And I, I just I, it was wrapped around quite a few times. I took it out, and then um, 
the stuntman, like, he's like, oh, everyone's like, oh, what, what happened? What happened? We all knew what, what happened. We all knew kind of what happened. But then the boss, the, the head of the team came over, uh, Tim Garlock, the head of the team came over, and uh, he, he, you know, he just, he, he didn't, he didn't give us time to be nervous. He's like, what are you doing? We're Hong Kong stuntmen. Get up. Let's go. You know, he didn't give you a chance to get scared, right? Because if you, you start getting scared, like it's, it's like if you're, you, you know, you, you, you mess up once, you choke once, you have to do it again. There's a chance of you messing up again. But he didn't give you that chance, you know. So immediately I got back on the wire. We did the stunt again and I was okay. But that was a pretty close call. So, you know, I got to thank the experience of the stuntman that didn't let me die. <laughs>